into the zone. In the near corner. As we're a minute in, here's a wide open opportunity. Walking down. And a great shot goes wide of the mark. Played back to the far boards. And now David Derzinski took a hit. We got fight. a scrap here is Spencer oh. Dorowitz just unloading rights here with Derek Pratt, who was a scratch. And now Pratt with a couple left hands and knocks Dorowitz down. Fox, it makes a nice play to steal the puck in the left wing circle. Cameron Hebig giving him some support. Played out to the line, moved across to Graves. Tries to get to, he's got a wide open man, and somehow Snyder, what? Comes along the near wall, here's a steal, Hebig in, Hebig! And did that go in the net? No, it did not, as Snyder somehow kept it out. And the, as this is Parks up ahead, right wing side, and he hit the shoulder there of Gillum, and Gillum's helmet blocked in the circle. Back over there to DeArnay, far circle again, and the oh. horn sounds right as Cameron Hebig was getting a shot off, and now Derek Pratt getting into a shoving match with Peter Cronella, and Dorowitz is in the face of Tad Kozin. As those two spin around near the net, the rest of the pile went all the way to the boards. Yeah, it was just a shoving match out front, and everybody kind of split off, and then Dorowitz Dorowitz got, you know, he's coming in this game on Sunday, a little fight. Right, DeYoung on the left wing. DeYoung trying to skate around a man. They stay on side, work to the high slot. Ricci fires, he scores! A spinning slap shot that caught Schneider by surprise. And the Thunder grab a one nothing lead early in the second. Well, that's a knuckle puck straight out of the Mighty Ducks movie. That's an absolute crazy balance as far as the way that puck came in, Fabricio just spun around, put that one on net, good things happen. We talk about it all the time. The Schneider just couldn't fight that one off. As they get on the board with their 14th shot of the game, it's one to nothing. Post, and it goes past Mitch Gillum's net. Now a penalty, no, I thought there was gonna be a penalty. Here's Crane in, Crane near side, <laughs> finds a wide open Fournier, and he scores, burying it past Schneider. And the Thunder take a 2-0 lead. You couldn't have had a wide open, wider open net than that. What an unbelievable play. They get in transition, four on two, through the neutral zone, nice passing. Everybody enters the zone. Little drop pass for Crane, and he gets it over to Fournier, who buries it. And Nick Schneider was nowhere to be found, as that was a wide open four by six for Fournier, who buries it for his eighth on the year. And six goes back down in behind the Thunder goal line. Near circle, they try and give and go, and which does Mitch Gillum unable to keep that in his glove after some contact oh. rolled him over. And now Billy Excel getting into a shoving match with Loren Yolette. Billy Excel then gets Yolette down to his knees as he grabs him by the jersey. Not much of a deep. Which does Peter Cronella. Now a two-on-one is Parkin and has he begin the offensive zone. He fanned on the pass. Now it's Riley Wesloski who's just out of the penalty box. Far side, Snyder way out of the net. And, the and now the other way is Bo Sterrett into the zone up the left side. Sterrett to Ricci, trying to get that over to Billy Excel and he scores! Billy Excel gets in the scrap and he scores as well. And the Thunder have a three-nothing lead. Now well, Billy XL is an assist away from a Gordie Howe hat trick. But again, that was another goal off of a beautiful passing play by the Wichita Thunder. It's three to nothing now. This game could be four or five to nothing with a couple other plays earlier in the game. But Wichita is absolutely dominating play right now. And like I said earlier, kind of- So come out of the penalty box. Sapp and gets around a man. He's got a three on two down low. He's got a wide open parking in, and he missed the net with a one timer. The Bench area up to Parkinson. He'll enter and leave it into the slot. Crane's got a wide open man near the front of the net. Couple of jam plays by Fournier and Schneider able to knock play there by Billy Excel, but he fell down on the boards. It's still loose. It's coming across. What a leg pass save there by Mitch. Good number of times here in this game and missing the net. Here's Lemos in the high slot. Fires on goal. Rebound there. They play it back across as fans trying to get to the far post and a wraparound. They work it out to Osborne and he puts it off the shaft of the stick of 
Mitch Gillum back down low. Now another chance in front, a toe save there by Gilson. Now a potential two on two is Crane. Crisscrossing there, and he leaves a drop pass to Fournier. Five face off dot, fires a wrist shot on net. A chance near the side of the net. Comes out to the deep slot, and they score. As Zach Osborne with a toe drag wrist shot, and he put it off the post and in. And the Mavericks had Snap the shutout bid here for Mitch Gillum. It's 3-1. Well, on his 28th shot he's faced of the night, Mitch gave up the first one as that was a nice shot in. Over far side, they shoot and a save made. And that possibly hit the post. And now Saffin up ahead the other way. Oh, snap Saffin in, and he hits an open net. And a penalty coming up here on the Mavericks. Both nets are empty with an extra attack for the Thunder. It's six on six, and here's a slap shot from the top of the circles by Patrick Perkin, and he finds the net and scores. I have never seen that before in my life, Zach. How many times, how many games I've played and watched that you see both nets empty? <laughs> I'm over here laughing, because that was incredible. Gillum makes contact with Van Strowen coming off.